Alright, this is the third GetRef.com in-depth tutorial by me, FSAGuy808. If this is your first time watching this, please stop, click on my username, go back and watch the first GetRef.com in-depth tutorial and the second one, and then watch this one, because if you watch this one first, it'll confuse you a little bit. In this third but short in-depth tutorial, we're just going to cover a few subjects, like scammers, how do I avoid them? And what is the message board? Alright, first subject is scammers. How do I avoid them? In the first Get Ref in depth tutorial, I explained something called scamming. It's where someone pretends to or signs up for a site by just joining it and not completing an offer, and then waiting for the 72 hour period to go by so that way they can force the credits. That is wrong, and I, I talked about it in the first video to not do that. Now, if you set up a program for people to join up to get offers, you definitely don't want that happening to you. So in this section, I'm going to explain how to put up some defenses to protect yourself against scamming. As an example, when you put up a program for people to start joining onto and completing offers, eventually you're going to notice that referrals are going to start adding up on your home page. As you notice in the upper left corner here, I have two referrals pending my review. If I click on that, it will take me to this page where it shows all my pending transactions. We're gonna click on the bottom one first. Um, it shows that it was open on this date and exactly what time. This, this page is great for keeping records on your three-day, 72-hour countdown. So let's click on that link and it'll pop up this page. Here it shows me the total transaction details. It tells me the ID number, awaiting confirmation, the date it was started and what day it is and the time it was started, my current user rating, uh, which program this user started or joined, I mean, uh, hit the Gret and his name. I blotted out his name for his privacy's sake because this person is going to be declined. They did not do the transaction right on the website, and in my description, it says to enter their email. This moron put it in his username, so I can't get credited, so I have to decline him. Now, this will happen sometimes. You're going to notice that people sign on and they mean well, but they don't do the transaction right. But it's best to decline them and keep your rating okay. But always send them a message, you know, talk to them personally and, and leave them a message why it didn't go through and say that, you know, you're sorry for it's not going through. If you click on the accept button, it shows you what your user rating would be. And if you click on the decline button, it'll show you what your rating is going to be if it is um, declined. Now, here's the good part. Nothing happens until you hit the update button. So you can go back and forth and look at your rating, what it's going to be, what it's not going to be, whatever the situation is, and whatever you decide. And in this spot right here, you should always leave feedback for them uh, so they can get a chance to respond. But here is the really good part. If you click on this right here, FAQ, it'll bring you to the facts page. If you scroll down to, I think I've been cheated slash scammers, it informs us that there, the simple protection already in place with where promoters who have a promoter's rating of 11 and above can decline earners with ratings of 2 and below without penalty keeping their credits and their rating. Now that's some really good news. Back on the other page, I've zoomed in, and you can see your promoter's rating is greater than 10, and the earner, who is this guy, the guy I've blotched out, is less than 2. Uh, and I will not be penalized if I decline this transaction, which I have to because he didn't do it right in the first place. And unfortunately, through your membership at GetRef.com, eventually you're, you're going to have to decline several people because they're not going to do their transaction right or they're going to be a scammer who does not answer your messages or who doesn't do what you're supposed they're supposed to do within a certain amount of time and then you you just have to decline them and that's that or else they will take advantage of you and they will take your credits so you got to be really strict with these people not mean but strict so as you can see in order to get this protection it's definitely worth it to try to get your promoter rating up above 11 that means doing some deals getting to know some people talking about different ways to get your rating up and in future videos I will talk about how to do that another way in the meantime go ahead and click on ban user click on that and if you are a gold member another reason to go gold is that you have this option right here enforce minimum available to you it's another form of protection when you click this button enforce minimum 
it has gives you the ability to prevent users f with a rating below five from joining your programs, which is a really great option. And then on the bottom right here, you see a list of the top worst rated users that have not been banned yet. So if you see these names of people trying to join your programs or they have a program that you want to join, just take a minute, check this out, see if you see their name, and look at their rating. You can pretty much just not do business with these people because they're they're pretty much have proven themselves bad news. In the upper left corner here is you can ban specific users from ever joining your programs again. If you've been scammed and you're gold and you don't want that person ever requesting credits from you, you just type in their username, put it in the description why you want them banned and it will be reviewed. Uh, you can also prevent them from joining your programs and eventually if the user is proved really bad and Jay, the owner of the site, and the staff members decide to get rid of them, they will be removed. So we've almost covered all the subjects for this Get Ref video that I wanted to go over with you except for the last one. What is the message board? This thing is probably one of the most neglected parts of the sites until people start using it. A lot of new members don't even know exists and they give up on the site before asking people questions and, and looking at real success stories. What you got to do is you click on the message board here and it'll take you to this page. It looks very different from the rest of the Get Ref pages. In order to use the message board instead of just viewing everything, if you can see right here it already recognizes me as logged in, but when you come to this page it's going to want you to register. So click you're going to click on a register button which will be here. It'll take you to this page. All you got to do is put in all your credentials, your basic stuff, all self-explanatory. I recommend using the same username that you use on getref.com. Read the agreement, click I agree, and then click create account. After that, you now have access to everything. You can post up comments, you can read the general board. If you have questions, you can ask other pros on the site. You can look at other success stories where people have gotten their stuff recently. Their, whether it's a console or a computer or cash it's a it, the message board is has limitless limitless um, information on there and uh, you can also check in on the latest updates so very exciting to check in on this and keep updated on that thanks for watching and remember who you were referred by FSA guy 808 as always keep an eye out for more getref.com update videos coming soon or just click on my username to see more videos that are available at this time Wishing you lots of free stuff, FSA Guy 808.